This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits. This video is kind of a follow-up video to our composite behavior video where I talked about the fact that we need to adjust our cohesion a bit because right now it's causing this flickering in our agents. And so we're going to do this by creating a new c -sharp script in our behaviors, but it's going to really base, be based a lot on the um, cohesion script. So we're going to do create c -sharp script. We're going to call this steered cohesion behavior. And this comes from this idea that we're going to do what's called sometimes steering or smoothing to our cohesion movement um, so that it's smoothed out a bit and doesn't become quite so jerky as we can see um, when we hit play here and we see a lot of these kind of flickering back and forth. So I'll open this up in Visual Studio. I'm going to close out everything except for the cohesion behavior because we are, like I say, going to be able to use a lot from here. In fact, what I may just do is copy all of this, paste it in here. Just be sure that I am re-adding the steered to the so that this name matches up with the file name. And I do want to change my menu name here to steered cohesion as well. Now for this, the way that we're going to do this is using the method called um, smooth damp that Unity provides. And in order to do that, we're going to need a couple of variables up here. Um, one that's just going to be kind of a utility variable, but the other one is actually going to be um, a public variable that we can set so that if we want to adjust the steering. So we're going to have a vector2. And this is going to be called current velocity. And this is really just something that smooth damp needs. And so we're just going to be kind of putting it in there as a placeholder. And then the second one is going to be a public float called agent smooth time. And we're going to set this to half a second. This is basically saying how long should it take for the agent to get from its current state to the calculated state. Um, however, the, um, this is happening every single frame, so it's never actually going to be a full half a second that's going to be running. So this is really just a number that we can adjust to see how quickly we want the fixes to be. If we made it really low, we'd see it actually work very similar to the original cohesion behavior. If we make it very high, we're going to see this very long flowing movement, um, which may or may not work better for our, for our flock. So that's why we're going to put it as a public here, and we can adjust it as we want to. So in our calculate move method, we really only need to add one line of code, which is going to come right after we offset the original agent position. Down here, we're going to set cohesion move one more time. This time we're going to set it directly. We're not going to apply something to it. We're going to say cohesion move equals, we're going to say vector2 dot smooth damp. And this takes in several um, different parameters. First thing we need is our current um, our current vector to our current, this is kind of our current velocity. And so for this, I'm simply going to use mem, uh, agent rather, dot transform dot up. And then our target is actually our current cohesion move. So this is what we're trying to get to. So we'll say cohesion move. This vector to here, ref current velocity, this is that variable that we created up above. So we'll say current velocity, and that's really just um, so that we can kind of store this information and Unity can use it. And then finally, smooth time is the what we called agent smooth time, which is, like I say again, how long it should take to get from um, the original to the destination vector 2. And with those all passed in, oh, we need to make sure also this is um, being passed in as a reference, meaning um, that it can be, it will actually change this original value up here. So we need to make sure that we have the REF word in front of that parameter. Okay. So that's really all that this takes. It's, you know, three lines of code that will change this from the kind of jerking motion that we have right now to a little bit better and smoother of a motion. In fact, we should see now we can go to our behavior objects and create a new steered cohesion behavior. I'm going to rename this, get rid of that new there, just call it steered cohesion. Get rid of behavior as well. And then in our default uh, flock behavior, I'm going to drag in. Instead of cohesion, we're going to add steered cohesion here. So now we can hit play. 
and we see in fact there's still a little bit of flickering going on there and we can actually help adjust that but that it's a lot smoother of motion in fact what we can do is now if I increase this to something like three or four we should see that there is virtually no flickering that we see in our flock now. Now one thing that we also do notice that keeps happening is that our flocks tend to just kind of burst away and then start flying away in all directions. And that is an issue that we're going to change with a, um, an additional behavior, one that goes beyond the flock, that kind of maintains our flock within a certain radius. However, before we do that, and before we start adding more behaviors to our composites here, we notice that we keep on if we keep on adding new ones, we're going to have to add them into our behavior and then add our weights and make sure that these keep aligning. And so one thing I want to do is I want to create a custom editor for this composite behavior so that everything is kind of lined up nicely and when we add behaviors, the weights automatically get added for us and we don't have to worry about doing that management. So in our next video, we're going to dive into some editor scripting and then from there, we'll start working on custom um, behaviors that go beyond the default flock behaviors. In the meantime, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and want to see when more are coming out. Consider supporting on Patreon if you want to help me make more of these videos. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.